Yeah, Friday, Pachanga. Everybody getting a buzz starting, getting ready to have fun, dance, win. Everyone is going to win. You're going to win. You're going to win. You're going to win. You're going to win. Everyone's going to win. I'm never wrong. But I'm so glad to see everybody's enjoying their alcohol. Everybody here having a good time with their alcohol, except for me. Because this year, April 3rd, I turned 20 years sober. No, I don't really see it that way. Thank you. Uh, if I could, I'd still be drinking. Uh, uh, I, I'll tell you, it, 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 it took a, a lot for me to have to retire. And if anybody has any problems, I thought afterwards we'd get a circle here if people want to hang out and I can work you through the steps. Uh, 20 years ago and change, I was in jail on acid in Ventura County Jail, where you come on vacation, leave on probation, everybody. Anybody? Fellow, okay, anybody? Fellow drug addict? No, okay, a few people in the back. Uh, <laughs> one over here. My people. Uh, I looked a little different. I know I look like a white guy who drives a Prius, which I do, with two children. It's embarrassing, but it saves a lot of money, and my wife got the SUV. Anywho, uh, I looked a little different. I had really long hair, which I rocked. Okay. Uh, I was wearing one of those Mexican ponchos, you know, with the hood and the pocket here in, for, put all your stuff in here, which by the way, I've noticed are back. And so I'm gonna go dig out my, my I'm gonna rock my poncho, but I'm just, I'm a little nervous about what's in that pocket. What did I leave in the pocket? <laughs> Uh, I was also wearing a Billy Jack hat, so you can imagine me, long hair. I was driving. We went to Ventura County. Uh, it was my friend Melissa's 30th birthday, and uh, what better way to, I think everybody celebrated their 30th birthday by dropping acid and going hiking, which is what we did. And as a person who's, and I know I may not look it, but as a person who is dry, they say seven hits of acid and you're insane. I'm out of my mind, clearly. and. I would say I'm a bit of an expert on the subject. Uh, these were sugar cubes, like old school LSD, where basically a guy in a kitchen is taking an eyedropper and going boop, 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 and then somebody says, Greg, what? You know, and that's the one you get. You never know. You never know. Dropping acid and hiking is a, basically you take the drug, you walk 10 feet in, sit down in the dirt and look at ants for eight hours. <laughs> and that's what we did and it was fantastic. And uh, afterwards we were gonna go back to the campsite, stop and get some beer, of course I drove and I know I'm not proud of that, but I did, I admit it, my Billy Jack hat. And we were essentially a car that said, please pull us over, we're doing drugs. I mean, it was just, you know, Big headline. And so a cop did, it was a broken uh, blinker or something, some such thing, the man. And uh, this, you know, he gets me out of the car because he, he looks at me and he goes, you know, how you doing? Gives me my license and everything. You could see my pupils were not just big, but like my pupils were bigger than this, you know? And so he's like, you know, why don't you get out of the car? And this guy, this cop, to this day, I swear to God, he was 14 years old and a neo-Nazi. I mean, he just, hello, sir. Eh, you know, just scary. Welcome. And I got out of the car and, you know, they test you when they think something, you're on something. And I don't know if you've heard this, but in Ventura, they have a problem with a drug called meth. Uh, it's a bit of an upper. And um, so this is the meth test. The cop says, okay, close your eyes, lean your head back, and when you think 30 seconds are up, tell me. This is what somebody on meth does. Now. Because <laughs> their internal clock is moving a little bit, as I said, as an upper. But I was on LSD, ladies and gentlemen, where you can bend time and space. These are not the droids you're looking for, officer. And so I leaned back and I created an... Salvador Dali melting clock, and I watched the second hand, and when it hit the six, I said, now. 
And I could tell the look on that 14-year-old that I had hit it on the butt. He was just like, well, does not compute. Must look at cop book, don't understand. And I knew at that point that I was all right because my friends were in the car with the good job, eating all the drugs. <laughs> the job that I would have liked to have had if I wasn't staring at a 14-year-old neo-Nazi whose face was transforming into a praying mantis and into my mother or whatever. I mean, it, was, it wasn't easy out there, people. And so finally he goes, well, can I, do you mind if I search you? And I'm like, sure, sure. And he reaches into my pocket and he pulls out a half bottle of bourbon, half drunk. And I was like, oh yeah, alcohol. I totally, I mean, alcohol was like, bringing alcohol with me was like bringing a chapstick. I was a drinker, people. Anyway, we were, all the dogs came at that point. My friends did not eat the drugs and to this day I have a resentment against them. And we were charged with possession of narcotics, as a, there were a lot of drugs, possession of narcotics and possession of narcotics with intent to sell. I had no intention of selling anything that was going in this body. But that night led me to make a few decisions. You spend the night in jail on acid and you kind of take another look at yourself, you know? And so here I am, nerd ball, driving a Prius, happy to be with you. And I hope that you will leave tonight, all of you, you are at the Pechanga Casino. Go out there and create a story like this. <laughs> I wanna see you people turn it on tonight. Look around, find somebody you're gonna sleep with tonight. Let's, let's turn it on fire, people. What do you say? All right, good luck. Thank you.